Have you wondered if you could use the Cricut Mug Design Template for just regular vinyl? Coming up next. Hey how to family, welcome back to See Winter Baby Design. My name is Kelly. On today's video, I will be working with the Mug Design Setup Template to make a decal mug with the template. When you type in mug design setup, there are two mugs that's gonna come up. The first one you don't wanna use because it comes with two templates, only need one. So that one that I just clicked your design here, I will be using it. And also you could choose what size, either 12 or 15 ounce. So the next step I will be doing is looking for the image. But first let's go over, you got the, where you wanna place the cup and the template. So I'm gonna hit on image and type in Aquarius and I'm gonna do Aquarius mug. The next thing I'm gonna do is scroll and see what other Aquarius that I like but I decided to go with the first one that I saw on Design Space. After selecting the template, you do have to shrink it down to size. I end up shrinking it down to three and I decide to put it in the middle. You see it's three red cups up top. One, one is the middle, one is one's the left side and one is the right side so I'm putting it in the middle because I have another idea after I finish with this one. Design number two I decided to type in mug design and scroll and see what they had. I like this one a lot to go with the Aquarius thing because my cup is blue. So what I'm doing is laying the template on top of it and changing the color to white. After sizing it down to the size that I like, I decide to go ahead and hit contour to hide some of the stars and the sun because it's gonna be right on top of the Aquarius. So what I'm doing is selecting what I don't want. I'm using an iPad for this part um, because I did it on my desktop. Once you hide what you don't want, I'm making sure that everything is hidden and I'm going back because I noticed there was one or two items that wasn't hidden. So I'm going to go ahead and hide those and then check again to see if it's okay. Always save what you're doing, but just change it to like a number two because you do not want to lose your design. I learned this from graphic design school. Now it's time to go ahead and cut the image. So what I'm doing is hiding the templates behind and I'm going to remove the grid to see if the color is right. So I'm gonna choose the blue that I'm using. And then once I'm satisfied, I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting.
This is my first project I did with the new mug press. I do have the mug press, so I will be coming out with a review video. This is the actual Cricut mug because my mom, she bought me the mug press from HSN and it comes with the mugs as well as the ink and the markers. So this is how the cup look. I like the overall design of the cup. But one thing I didn't too much care for was the infusion ink. I never used it before. This is my first time. So I like how everything came out. But there were some mistakes because it's like kind of light here. So it was not much pressure on here. And also here I forgot to weed this out. The weeding for the infusal ink, I too much didn't care for. Let's take the last look of the design that I did today with the Dollar Tree mug. And it's also 12 ounce, so that template fits the Dollar Tree cup. I use vinyl instead of the infusal ink. I just use the vinyl design for this template. So this is how it looks, how it turns out, I like it. And I like this as well. So make sure you guys subscribe and comment down below and thank you for watching.